good morning good morning everyone good morning june allen here um from juneallen.net so just one second because facebook is ah there we go i'm live now on facebook as well so um good morning good morning everyone i hope that you're all doing well and um oh hang on a minute okay it's all right now so thank you so much for joining me this morning i am so excited i have some news i have some news this morning i have some news i am going to be um doing some live classes throughout the whole of december okay some support classes throughout the whole of december now before i get into it before if you don't know me my name is june allen and i am the founder of the art of greatness at juneallen.net so i just wanted to jump in for those of you that i'm just assuming that everybody knows who i am but obviously you don't um so yeah so basically i'm a therapist i'm a racial wellness coach um, and I teach black women who struggle with self-love, sisterhood and sobriety. Hi, Mawa. Lovely to see you. So, um, yeah, so I am I'm a therapist. I've been doing this work since um, I started my own journey back in 2009. And um, as a result of the amazing things that I experienced, the help that I received and what I learned and how uh, basically how I, I was able to deal with my own situation around my healing process, I decided that I wanted to train to become a therapist. Um, and so I absolutely love what I do. And um, um, I really enjoy it. And I love serving the community. Um, I love working with black women and I love doing this work. So um, yeah, so I've been doing that work for, for quite a long time now. And um, I share my journey along the way. And um, I've got a book club. I've got a mastermind um, specifically for black women um because just to continue doing this work and continuing to serve and i absolutely love what i do so just jumping into straight jumping into what i'm going to be what i'm going to be talking about today so obviously we today is it's december 1st today okay it's december 1st which means that all things holidays all things christmas what you're going to be doing for new year what you're going to be doing for kwanzaa what you're going to be doing you know whatever it is christmas dinners all that kind of stuff there's a lot of bars and activity that normally happens at this time of year okay so for a lot of people it's a really nice time to connect um to be able to see people that you haven't seen for a while um a lot of reflection about how the year's gone and all of that kind of stuff so for a lot of people it's a great time of year to be able to do to be able to do all of this stuff but for for many of us as well it can be a really difficult time it can be a challenging time having to be around family members that you don't particularly get on with um having to deal with loneliness having to deal with money issues money shame there's a lot of stuff to unpack um and maybe you don't want to engage in all of the commercial you know the commercial part of it maybe you just want to do something that's a bit more spiritual and you need to learn how to set some boundaries and all of that kind of stuff so this is where the support sessions come in with what i'm doing a lot of people just kind of you know go through the the month and just kind of get on with it or whatever and and without any sort of real guidance or support and so what i've done what i do now every year is to i, I do these classes to give people another opportunity to do some um some self-education some psycho education around how to deal with certain things how to deal with certain things um and I, so i do um so basically the way that it's set up is i help people to understand what's going on for them at this time of year as well it can be quite confusing for people to understand why they feel a certain way about certain things why they still find it difficult to connect with, with, with family members and understanding the family dynamics and all of that kind of stuff so i provide a really safe space for people to be able to unpack that stuff and to be able to plan out their holiday time um that includes their needs as well so the way that it works is on the Thursday evening, we'll be doing the last, um, this Thursday is the last um, chapter of the book club, and then and then we finish that book that we, we're currently doing. So what I'm going to be doing for the rest of December is on Thursday evenings, 8 p.m. till 9.30, it's 90 minutes, um, on, a, on last London time. We'll come together and I'll teach, you, uh, there'll be live Q&A and all of that kind of stuff. So the first class that I'm going to be doing, which is not this Thursday, next Thursday, which is the 9th, okay, the 9th of December, um, with, I'm going to be doing the first live class, which is about how to plan a stress-free um, holiday season. So you'll have an opportunity to kind of unpack what's going on for you, what happened last year, all of that kind of stuff. 
and you also have an opportunity to also ask me questions about things that maybe you're struggling with how to deal with certain situations with different family members that you're struggling with or whatever um and so i will be able to offer you some therapeutic tools as how to deal with yourself and also some suggestions around how you can deal with difficult family situations and stuff like that so if you're interested in joining me for the um, holiday seasonal support sessions and you can click the link in the bio go to heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net so just to give you a bit of a rundown as to what's actually some other stuff specifically that's going to be happening in the classes okay so there's going to be um psychoeducation around you know understanding what your needs are around the holidays one of the questions that comes up quite a lot or one of the things that i teach about quite a lot in the classes that you know whether it's holidays or not is a lot of the women that i work with don't really know what their needs are because it always seems to be about what the other person what the family member what the partner wants what the children wants they know what everybody else needs but they don't always understand what is right for them what do they actually need in terms of the holidays so you'll have an opportunity to kind of unpack that there are processes that i'll use in the session to help you understand exactly what your needs are We'll also go through some common holiday triggers as well um, to help you understand, you know, oh my gosh, yeah, that applies to me and tools that you can use to actually navigate that. All right. Um, we'll also talk about, you'll have the opportunity to think about, you know, how to clear resentments. There's a practice that I use, a process that I use with people. You know, if you've got an old resentment to somebody that's, that's you know, that, that was mean to you last year um and you that you never really fully got resolved and you're still carrying that resentment from whether it's last year or before or whatever it might be holiday related it may not be um but if you feel like you you, you know you're going to struggle to interact or be close to these people because of this resentment that you've got um i have a process that i will share with you as well during these classes to help you unpack um what you need to unpack in order to and even if you you clear the resentment it doesn't mean that you're gonna have to you know dive into a relationship back with this person you might decide actually this person is not really very safe for me so i'm not going to um you know i'm not going to continue to interact with this person but it would just be help you to unload and unpack what was going on for you around that particular resentment so that you could move forward for you okay so the other thing that we're going to be doing is um you know getting you to really think about okay well what events feel safe for me what events feel really really safe for me hi gloria thanks for joining um what events actually feel really safe for me and what does safety actually mean in terms of going to these events okay so you might just think oh i'm just going to go to this event and just kind of hope and pray that the people that are at this event or the maybe the family member that you're trying to avoid is, is going to somehow behave themselves this year okay they might not behave themselves okay they might not behave themselves so one of the things that we'll do in the sessions is help you to unpack actually what does safety mean for you what does emotional safety mean for you around the holiday period and then you get to decide you can choose whether you're going to attend this event or not you know it's giving yourself permission to unpack this stuff and have real honest conversations around the fact that you know what i don't want to go to this event I don't want to I don't want to see that person. I don't want to I don't want to have to engage with that person. That person doesn't respect my boundaries. They they think they can talk to me some kind of way. They're always commenting on my weight. They're always commenting on my hair. They're always making inappropriate comments about whatever it is and they don't listen to you. They don't respect your boundaries. You have the right to say no to spending time with these people. So you know in the live classes you'll have the opportunity to unpack a lot of this stuff and really get honest about what your needs are what you actually need in order to have safe conversations in order to um also to help you build resilience around what is right for you um and 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 you know if you if you feel strong enough to be able to attend these these um these events and, and give yourself permission to not go if you don't want to okay so we'll talk about all of these things the idea about around safety in events and what that means for you and how you can navigate that all right we're also going to be talking about boundaries as well you know how do you say no to these events if you if it comes to the place where you think do you know what i actually don't want to go to that event what does that actually look like how do i say no to people you know there's a lot of expectation and assumptions around this type of uh, around this time of year that can that can be quite painful you know you th you know the other person's expecting you to go over there for christmas or that person's expecting you to show up on christmas day or new year's eve or whatever it is or there's expectation around buying presents and all of this there's all of this pressure that happens at this time of year and quite often we don't know how to say no 
we don't know how to say no maybe we have a really codependent relationship with this person maybe you don't want to let down this person's um children or whatever but maybe you just can't afford to do it this year you know maybe you just can't afford to do it this year so again in these live groups we're going to be talking about the importance of you being able to say no okay and how to do it i've got lots of scripts and all that kind of stuff that i will share with the group on how to actually manage this stuff so that you can actually look after yourself first take care of your own well-being and 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 um you know and protect your own boundaries and stuff first around all of this stuff okay so um saying no to invitations and all of that kind of stuff really really important so the other thing that you'll learn as well is how to build um a well-being toolbox okay this time of year is is triggering for so many people and so it's important that if you don't have one already that you have an emotional toolbox to be able to um to go back to when you're feeling if you're feeling lonely if somebody has triggered you if you find yourself in a situation where you know that, that, that you feel uncomfortable with somebody or maybe you feel a lot of shame around this time of year because you can't you know you can't afford to buy certain things um you know it's having a toolbox so that you can kind of manage your emotions so that you can manage what's going on for you so that you can still take care of yourself you know it doesn't have to cost a lot of money it doesn't have to take up a lot of time in order to build this this uh, well-being toolbox it's just something that you can refer to that you can go to when you're have not having a good not having a good time you know i think the old the whole idea around depression um you know, depression is very you know is elevated at this time of year and then also the suicide rates as well tend to be higher at this time of year because of the expectation because of the loneliness and all of that kind of stuff is is is, is real at this time of year and i think you know it it's important for us to have that or for you to have that conversation with yourself about where you're at with this stuff so that you can then can begin to take action around okay well what do i actually need so if you have your own emotional toolbox okay you're not just relying on other people to make the holiday season and um, what you think it should be you're going to empower yourself you're going to take responsibility for what you are what is in your control okay and then you can you can ask for help as well at the same time you can ask for help as well at the same time but it's about you first taking responsibility and taking that action around understanding what your needs are and building what you need um, as part of your emotional toolbox so that you can have, you know, a, a really peaceful and a connected, um, you know, a, a connected holiday And it might be that you don't want to be connected to other people. It might be that you want peace and solitude. You know, I like to have a mix of the both. You know, I love um, this time of year as well because I like the, I like the, um, uh you know the stillness of it you know everything's closed there's nowhere there's there's not a lot going on in terms of um uh in terms of you know people don't really phone you and stuff like that it's not as intense the intensity of you know being the daily the, the daily grind of having to do stuff you know the parenting all that kind of obviously you still have to be a parent and whatever but i tend to take i tend to take more of a back seat at this time of year it's also winter solstice as well um and so solstice for me is a time of reflection it's a time of um you know doing some vision work as well thinking about what i've achieved this year how my well-being has gone this year what 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 lessons have i learned what is it that i need to think about next year in terms of my vision work and all of that kind of stuff and also with solstice you know energetically it's a time where you know that our ancestors used as well um so i use that time just for reflection and to start to build on what I want to achieve for next year. You might not do solstice, but this is from, this is one of the things that's that's really personal to me. I'm also not I'm not a massive Christmassy person, um, but I love Kwanzaa as well, so I'm more of a Kwanzaa person. So you know, it's about you deciding for you what are the rituals and um, the events that kind of work for you. This is all about you including yourself in the conversation about what you want to do. Okay, instead of it being focused on what other people expect, what other people want, what other people need, and all the rest of it is including your needs in this conversation so that you can then make plans and do what you need to do to make sure that you're included in the conversation it's not just about what other people's expectations are and that's really really important okay so if you're interested in joining me 
for the support sessions, okay, the holiday support sessions on Thursday evenings, 8 till 9.30 London time. Click the link in the bio, go to heal.juneallen.net. That's heal.juneallen.net. That's heal.juneallen.net. I never told you about the cost, okay? So the cost, I'm doing you guys a serious deal here, okay? So it's only £49 for the for the, for the the month of, of December, okay? I thought, well, let me just do something that's affordable, um, and give people an opportunity to be able to to do this in a really you know in a really affordable way so for 49 pounds you're going to get the four sessions across december you're going to get the live that you know the live classes there's um there's like a little playlist as well like it's not like it's not really a, a library as such but there's like a mini there's an there's a, like a holiday area with um you know live streams that are not and and, and master classes and stuff like that that are not available to the public um that where you're going to have access to you know all, all the extra um goodies to support journal prompts all of that kind of stuff just all holiday related stuff to help you there's also a great master class in there as well which is self-directed what you can work on on your own how to review your ear if you're in my sunday sunday um what should we call it if you're in my sunday um circle class in the mastermind the, the the you know the deeper mastermind we will be doing that class live and so that they'll have the opportunity you will have the opportunity if you're in there to actually go through that class with me live but if you don't you know if you're not if you're not in the master class if you're not in the um the sunday circle class then you'll have the opportunity to work through that class on your own um you know self-directed there's a recorded uh, video in there from from um from before when i did it before so you'll have the opportunity to go through that as well so and that's all for 49 pounds i mean that's quite amazing really that you have the opportunity to do that this time so jump on it so click the link in the bio go to heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net thank you so much for joining me today any questions please send me a direct message or you can email me info at yardofgreatness.com thank you so much for joining me and you know let me help you ask for help okay you don't have to do this by yourself you don't have to struggle with all of the the drama and the chaos that quite often happens at this time of year you can you can you know work with me and and the other ladies in the group and you know be connected be connected and give yourself an opportunity to you know to 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 do this work with other people as well and there's not there'll be an opportunity as well for you to join after you know in january if you want to where i'm starting my uh my self-love essentials course if you want to you know really really want to start doing this work but anyway i'll talk more i digress i'll talk more about that another time but anyway this is about the holiday support session so i'll see you next time thanks for joining have a great day all right take care Bye bye